Thank you for your interest in Easy Walker, the sports shoe for horses. We hope that this installation video will guide you through the application of the shoe. Foot Preparation You will prepare your foot just like you would for a steel or aluminum shoe with one exception. You will not have to knife the sole to relieve sole pressure. The shelf of the sole you create when you rasp will help support the shoe and will help with the overall strength of the hoof. Sole pressure will not be a concern because of the shock absorbing qualities of the Easy Walker. Size Selection To find the correct shoe size for your horse, using a tape measure, you would measure the width at the widest point of the foot. To measure the length of the foot, keep in mind that the distance from the toe to the medial heel may differ from the length of the toe to the lateral heel, so be sure to measure from toe to the longest heel. You can also very easily find the size you need by placing the Easy Walker on the prepared foot and making sure that you will be able to get all your nails correctly into the white line. This step will be easier if you first draw a line with a marker from the point of the frog to the toe to find the true center of the foot. And then also trace the white line of the foot so you can see the white line through the shoe. Toe Clip The next step will be to mark and cut out your toe clip. By inserting the toe clip, placing the shoe on, and tracing the clip with a marker. This can be done with a Dremel tool or your rasp and hoof knife. Shaping the shoe. At this point, you can insert your side clips and mark them on the foot. You can also trace the parts of the shoe that you will be removing to fit your shoe to the hoof wall. Cut your side clips out and use a grinder or your hoof nippers and rasp to shape the shoe. Shaping of the shoe can also take place after you have the shoe nailed on by using your nippers and rasp. Remember, you want the frog to support the same weight as if your horse were barefoot. If your horse has a frog that sticks up past the heels, you will need to thin the bar of the shoe. You can thin the bar up to one half its thickness in order to achieve proper frog pressure. If you have no frog pressure at all, then it is recommended that you fill in the gap using silicone or some type of pour-in pad. Nailing the shoe You should only use E-head nails for the Easy Walker. Do not use City Head nails. The wedge shape of the E-head will ensure proper seating of the nail head into the shoe and will hold better than City Head nails. Nail on your shoe by first setting your shoe. Remember not to set your shoe using the nail holes located over your side clips because they have not been recessed. Make sure your shoe is centered on the foot and your toe clip is recessed, then drive your set nails. Bend over or wring off your set nails and place the foot on the ground and secure your side clips with some gentle hammer blows just so they are recessed. If you make the clips too tight, you can cause undue stress to the hoof wall. Pick the foot back up and finish driving the rest of your nails. When you come to the nails that secure your side clips, you may have to angle them a little steeper than you normally would because they will tend to angle out after going through the clip material. 
the Easy Blocker. You are now ready to use the only additional tool needed for the installation of the Easy Walker. To use this tool, you place the tip of the tool on the head of your nail and the other end of your tool on the shank of your nail. Give the nail a few good hammer blows to countersink the nail head below the ground surface of the shoe, and it will also do the same job as your clinch block would do on the shank side of the tool. On horses with brittle or crumbling hoof wall, you will want to avoid using the clinch block part of the tool, and only use the countersinker so you don't rip or damage the hoof wall. Finishing You will finish the foot the same as you would for a steel or aluminum shoe. When you use your clinchers, use a brushing motion first to start the shank bending, then use your regular clinching technique to finish your clinch. Hammer clinching also works great for finishing. Sometimes you can force the nail out of the shoe if you don't make sure the shank is bending before you use a lot of force on your clinchers. Breakover If you need to set the shoe back for breakover, then you will obviously not use the toe clip. But keep in mind that the Easy Walker has more traction than most steel shoes, and three clips are recommended. Easy Walker Plus The Easy Walker Plus is the pad version of the Easy Walker. The only thing you'll do different when shoeing a horse with the Plus is to make sure you fill the pad with either silicone, hoof pack, oakum, or a type of pour-in pad. This is done in order to keep bacteria and dirt from getting trapped inside the shoe. You can fill the pad by cutting a small hole in the pad and filling from there or filling from the cosmosures of the frog. Studs the Easy Walker can be easily tapped for studs. They offer either drive in inserts or self threading inserts. The tool used to apply the threaded inserts is the same type of tool used for golf cleats. Easy Walker carries the tool, or you could buy it at a sporting goods store. When applying the studs, the main thing you should keep in mind is to make sure your stud insert is flush or just a little below the foot surface of the shoe so you don't have foot contact with the stud insert. Easy Walker offers a drill bit for their inserts with a countersink on the bit. If you're planning on shoeing horses with studs, we recommend our drill bit. Thank you for taking an interest in Easy Walker, the sports shoe for horses, and taking the time to watch this installation guide. For more information about ordering our products, or if you have any questions, please call 1-866-WALK-EASY.